and we are live <clears throat> good morning good afternoon good evening everybody hope you're having a wonderful day we're back for some more sterling silver what are we doing today right we're cooking patrol i had a plan last time but it was undercooked where is it yep there we go yep because the moment Pidgeot U-turns, it ruins my plan to kill the Magmortar, because Pidgeot comes back in and it screws the whole thing. So that didn't work out. Uh, see if I can find other opponents for this Pidgeot. Clean that up. Stone Edge and Pav. Nope. Nope. We've tried with Golem. Could be Agron. Too weak. Even though it is faster. Oh wow. This thing learns Perish Song. Wait a minute. Did I have delayed this Gengar? Oh. Uh, hmm. I doubt that was a good idea. Delaying, delaying it that hard? Nah. Uh, would become fighting type, so it's worse. Faster, but it's dead. Hmm. And he's a hundred percent dead to dive. Could be. Could be Flareon. Let's think about that. Larion's debut fight. Was the Pidgeot baits in Waylord immediately? And once Dive comes in. Hmm. How was I beating Waylord last time? What was the plan? Oh, Gengar with Thunderbolt. I see. Luminion can't really learn anything that helps me here. Frenzy Plant's gonna take 231 divided by 3. <clears throat> A lot. It's almost 80. It's a lot of damage. For the Waylord, I would still need to tank Dive. I bump this guy up to 50. It learns Zap Cannon.
Can Perish Song hit through Dive? Hmm. I set up aggro up front, it's gonna bait flamethrower. Well focus blast flamethrower. God, this is terrible. Stone Edge can miss. What other options? How much is Rock Tomb doing? Not enough. 49 Heartstone Very unlikely to two hit KO this That seeking would have been great here I bait him to U-turn Something that can take U-turn properly. Hmm. It's earthquake. learns flamethrower e wave hmm back to the original plan before i bait u turns Ah, Steelix dies to heat wave. Rock Ghost. Almost good. In fact, if I teach this thing Rock Tomb, dodging crit from T Punch. It would be nice. It's an Absol for random move. Hero is also an easy swap to this. Want a Crobat on the superpower, Aura Sphere. I still think Crobat should fight this with Aura Sphere. Ah, too much damage. Fake out, doing 
and dodge the T punch onto Stellarock, which does nothing. Hmm. Amos one? Maybe. <clears throat> That is a good ass ancient power. What the heck? Or it can hit the earth power on this. I bet. Okay, let's say I bring in Mammal. I'm guessing around 49, dodging a crit. So it fakes out avalanches. There's always the option to rock tomb, but hmm, it would have to be hearthstone rock tomb twice. And there's still the fact I don't resist U turn. Hmm. Let's say I'm playing under baiting U-turn. What do I bring in? Okay, that actually works nicely. I pivot Crobat on that U-turn, baits Abzol, I'm faster, and I can Aura Sphere this thing. Brings out Pidgeot again. Hmm, it's okay-ish. Pivot to Firo. Too much damage. Okay, my Gengar could be faster at 49. I don't think it can learn a move to one-shot this. The best thing it can do is Brick Break. Pivot to Magmar on the U-turn, not bad. Would bait Ice Beam. Hmm. Interesting. It made you ancient power. Rock goes to flow. Damn, it still takes 20% from that U-turn. Yikes. Fates, Waylord.
Mm -hmm. I'm not faster. I think it's uh, it might still be the original plan, but we need to cook parts of it a little bit better. What was the original team that we had? Golem, Blastoise, Waylord, Gengar. So it's not Waylord or Agron, Crobat. Is that it? One Accelerock, Pidgeot U turns, Tropius, Pivot to Blastoise, Dodge a Crit, Fake Out Draco, Pivot to Gengar, Thunderbolt. Blastoise, Gengar, Agron, Crobat, Horus Sphere. Right. Okay, so we have room for something. Because we only have five in the team. So at this point, we've taken care of Pidgeot, Tropius, and Waylord. And Absol. But so only Tropius, Waylor, and Absol. And after Absol, with Crobat up front, Pidgeot comes back in. Pidgeot again. For T Punch. We can pivot Golem. Sell a rock kill. He has to be at 49 for this. And now Magmortar comes in for free. With Golem at level 49, 112 HP. Either Energy Ball or Focus Blast, which is an easy pivot to something like Crobat. It's Thunderbolt. Crobat would be 129 by the time it came in. Hmm. So I can U turn doing nothing. Out of Thunderbolt Flamethrower. I could find a way to guarantee it though. Pivoting to Gengar. Gengar would be 71. Too random. Who can even face this Magmortar? Uh, Surf is up there, but not quite there yet. That's facade, not even there. Mm. This faster. 
Do I have the expert belt on anybody? Does not look like it. 31% chance to Oko. Becomes an 81 at 49. Could be plus score. I can make Noctile learn Psycho Boost. Holding a Twisted Spoon. That will kill. Hmm. Might have to be. Okay. Uh, Magmortar. Half Blast. Energy Ball. Give it Noctowl. Psycho boost kill. And that only leaves Perugly. Oh, I have kept Staraptor in the back. Was it also a good idea for this? <clears throat> he can't do as much. And ensure this guy comes out for free. Even burn it. Need be. Probably does get walled by Gengar, but <laughs> Gengar is going to have to pull a lot of weight here. I think this is the team. Golem. Last toys. Ingar. Agron. Robot. And surprisingly, Octal's debut fight. And if something needs to die, let it be Noctowl. Okay. So Golem has to be level 49, holding a Rost. Like to learn the move Earthquake, you can take it over Headbutts. Hmm. If it's the Blastoise. Honestly, I think everybody in this should be level 49. Towel, give me that psycho boost. Who's mm. whirlwind? Uh. 
Um, Blastoise. Um, I have no item on it. Gengar needs an S Berberry. What is Agron doing in this plan? Is he here just a tank? Is he just a tank? In that case, let's give Black Sludge to Gengar. Berry, Shell Bell, Blastoise. Let's see. Golem at 49. Gets one Accelerock Rock off. This thing U turns into Tropius. Give it to Blastoise, level 49. <clears throat> And we will fake out and Draco Meteor. Actually, I don't think there's a point. We probably just Draco Meteor to get the full heal from Shell Bell. Bates and Waylord. So we will pivot on Agron instead. It's Ice Beam. Hmm. No, because I need Gengar to kill this. Yep, yeah, that's why I need the Asper Berry. Just in case. Okay, Gengar gets the kill on this. Uh, doing Thunderbolt. Let's teach you Thunderbolt. I thought that Agron could also learn it. Hmm. Not much better than if I can learn Thunderbolt. Hmm, not really. Takes too many turns to kill. So, oh. Rostberry, Rockhead, Golem, Rockhead, Rostberry, Rockhead, Accelerock, mm-hmm. You have the Draco Meteor with the Shell Bell, you have to dodge a crit of that energy ball. Uh, all we know is that it's Waylord, not Dive, give it to Gengar with the Thunderbolt, give it to Blastoise on Dive. Give it to Gengar again. And let's hope that Gengar is not very low and that it doesn't get crit. So we get the Thunderbolt kill. Give it to Agron on non superpower. Give it to Crobat. Crobat needs to Aura Sphere. How many heart skills do I have? Two. Oh. Punk shots a hundred accuracy. Huh. Hmm. 
now let's forget U-turn. Probably need to lose fly. <laughs> so we have Aura Sphere. I don't think I need any item. Hmm, it will just kill. Got again for the T punch. Which means it's another pivot to you. You turn. Brings out Magmortar, we already know it's Noctowl. Uh... Okay. Still un uncertain about Gengar here, but hmm. Noctowl needs the twisted spoon. I guess I'll give Crobat the black sludge. Frost, Shell Bell, Asper, Oren, Black Sludge, and Twisted Spoon. I think we're ready to fight Patrol 2. Oh, okay. This is it. It's a big fight, so I'm going to change into the game's audio. Oh, this is going to be so rough. We need a couple of things to go well. Specifically that Gengar does not get hit by two Ice Beams. If he does, there's still a way, but we are in a dicey situation. Was it? Uh, okay, I guess it's this way. Not the scientist, right? Save real quick. Okay, last minute check, making sure I have all the moves. Only thing I want from Golem is Accelerox. Mm -hmm. Only thing I want from Blastoise is Draco Meteors. Mm hmm. From Gengar, I will need Thunderbolts. Okay, yep, from Gengar, I will need Thunderbolts, and that's about it. Uh, from Agron, he's just here to tank. Probat needs the Aura Sphere, that's correct. Uh, got the Psycho Boost on the Noctowl. With a Twisted Spoon. That's it. Okay. <clears throat> Frost, Shell Bell, Asper, Oren, Black Sludge, Twisted Spoon. Let's go. Can't afford to bring any, um... Ah, there's no fight here. Can't afford to bring any <clears throat> Black Sludge on... on Gengar, unfortunately. Because if he gets frozen, we're kind of screwed. Hey, he pushed me. Two passwords.
Giovanni. Not Giovanni. <laughs> I don't even look like Giovanni. <laughs> Airs Patrol. Password is Hail Giovanni. Okay. Patrol 2. So, first we're gonna accelerate rock here. I, this thing can U-turn, it's very likely to just U-turn. If it heat waves, it's crazy good, but... Oh, we just crit! Huh? Okay. Problem solved. <laughs> okay, uh, I did not account for this at all. Uh... This is guaranteed energy ball. Alright. We have to dodge a crit on this energy ball, otherwise Blastoise has to die here. I couldn't pivot Crobat here, otherwise it would be Ancient Power. Perfect. We are just Draco Meteoring here. Drop a Draco! A third of Tropius HP will be dealt as recoil. I have some Shell Bell, but you know, it's just to give me a little bit of extra. Another crit? That did not matter, by the way. Okay, Shell Bell kicks in. I heal what? 13? Ooh! Damn! 20, 21 healed, okay. We lower them. Let me double check at this HP. At 72 HP, this is never... Should never be dive. I'm only dead to self-destruct, which is unlikely at 47 at full HP. This is between Hyper Voice and Ice Beam, and I'm praying for Hyper Voice. It's 85% chance Hyper Voice, 15 on Ice Beam. He went dive immediately. Wow. Okay, that has to be Blastoise back in. I don't know why in the world he would do that. That's a crit. Okay, fake you out. Just a tiny bit of damage. Let's try that again, shall we? There's no reason to dive, it's the least, uh, lowest damaging move. I don't know why it's doing that. Um, I can't leave Gengar here either. That dive does way too much damage. <sighs> That's so fucking annoying. Does it just do that? Why are you not hypervoicing? Or ice beaming? Okay, so that's 14 damage. I'm out. Does nothing. Last toys here at 32. I'm dead to. Some rolls of Hyper Voice. I need them to roll high on this. Okay. Okay, good. He bolt here. We have to tank yet another dive. Ah, uh, no para. Okay, don't crit that dive. Okay. 
Take him out one last time. Muddy Water does 17 to 20%. It should kill here. That looks about right. But if I leave you up front, that messes up the order. At 17 HP, I'm now dead to random hyper beam. Uh, hyper beam, hyper voice or ice beam. But it's never dive. Perfect. Wow, I accounted for Gengar to be 22 HP at this point. That was great. Great job, Blastoise. What a trooper. Incoming Absol. Now, the only thing I know about this Absol at this point against Gengar is that this could be literally any move well actually no at full HP I know this is Night Slash so I'm gonna pivot onto Aggron to tank it but even if it was Shadow Claw or Psycho Cut it doesn't matter pivot to Aggron tank the hit bait superpower mm hmm this thing is Scope Lens Super Luck, so it's very likely to just crit. This is now Super Power. Bring out the Crobat. Perfect. That's another crit, yep. This fight, how many crits have we seen in this fight alone? Okay, this thing is Black Sludge. We Aura Sphere kill. Had to use a scale for that. Worth it. I didn't teach this thing U turn, which is fine. We're not dealing with focus sashes. That... That was not part of the plan because I had accounted for Pidgeot to switch in on this. Okay, hang on. Forgot about that. Highest damaging move here is Thunderbolt. So I have to find a way to bait Energy Ball Focus Blast. I have to pivot onto Golem again. Come on. Awesome. This is now Energy Ball or Focus Blast, so I can bring in Noctowl. Noctowl's debut fight. Okay. We are faster and we kill with Psycho Boost. Agmortar is part fighting in this game. And now only Perugly is alive. <clears throat> now the beautiful thing about this is that Gengar completely walls the Perugly. And what does the most damage here? Dark Pulse or Thunderbolt?
It's Thunderbolt. Mm. I'm not faster and I'm gonna get u turn to Oblivion, but it doesn't matter. Era? Was about sucker punch, but that's fine too. And that is Deathless Patrol 2. Well, that bird recorded him, right? Yeah. Kill Giovanni. <laughs> Wait, why is he going that way? Ah. Oh, the relief. Okay. For this upcoming fight, I think everybody should be level 49, I would say. I think it's that difficult. At least 48. Let's bump them all to 48. And also, let's change to the plans here. He was Psycho Boost. Psycho Boost Noctowl. Son of a gun. His debut fight, but he got to do something. Happy with that. Everybody to 48, please. I think Sunflora only learns a new move at like 60. Uh -huh. so who's 47? Honestly, I'll put you now at 50, like, who cares? Yunan can always be at the cap because he is, you know, it's fallen off. Please don't tell me I need Magmortar for this fight. Seven. Earthquake hit Monchan. Honestly, no. You're minus attack, anyways.
update the calcs. Nobody died. And that's it. Oh. Next fight is going to be really freaking hard to plan. The 12v12 with a partner. Aerodactyl, Blastoise, Ampharos, Arcanine, Torterra, Dragonite. Wing attack, rock slide, drill run, U turn. Let me take a look at this from Lance's perspective. He's gonna get intimidated twice, both from the Arbok and from the uh, from the Tyranitar. Yeah. Exactly. So that's a minus oh god, it's Sash too. He should be more likely to U-turn, but it depends, right? It's a 50-50. He can also look at Arbok and go Drill Run, because U-turn gets resisted. And if Aerodactyl stays, is it dead to... Oh? In doubles, it's never dead to Rock Slide either. This is likely to Stealth Rock unless I show the kill. After two Intimidates, is there something I can do? I can bait Crunch from both sides. Eh, close. Hmm. I could prevent stealth rocks. Uh, oh, this is going to be really, really hard. Let's start from the ground up. Who do I have that theoretically could 1v1 these? just so many and I can't really count on Lance mm -hmm. Gengar, Snorlax, Espeon, Houndoom and I need to find <clears throat> Common ground with six Pokemon. So theor I'm gonna find Pokemon that can theoretically 1v1 each and every one here. And I have to find some common ground to get a team of six. And Lance... Pff, Lance is gonna have to do whatever. I have no idea what Lance is gonna do. Maybe I can bait Lance to kill something in my favor. After we figure out what team we bring. But honestly, I think that this fight is just, you know, bring in six and pray. 
Let's find out which six. Probably Draco Meteor Blastoise for this, right? Too slow. Can survive it, can kill. But it is too slow. Uh, my own Arbok at 40, probably at 50 without speed kill. Yep. Well, after, also it's clear body, so it can't get intimidated. I can open the fight immediately by killing Arbok. But I'm not showing Tyranitar any kills, right? Yeah. If I show Tyranitar a kill, I prevent Stealth Rocks. Okay, my own Arbok at level 50 can kill this. Not in actually in doubles you still can. Just surprising. Wait. Uh not after intimidates. Would this be the fight where I proc the white herb? Only have one of those. Hmm. Golem with the white herb would be also be very interesting. Uh, Agron, yep. Yet even Crobat. is active by the way so no it's not Crobat uh, not you you're dead to crunch never Magmortar never you definitely never you this course hyper cutter so you could also do a lot of damage Yep, Gliscor is also a very good opening. And you don't need the White Herb for it either. Damages both sides really well. Oh, huh. interesting. Psychic as well. Psychic from Golduck. Right? Uh, Rumpig could also do it. Yep. Arbok's not going to be the issue. That's very clear by now. If I bring in Noctowl into this, it's to die. Army, I wouldn't consider it. Yeah, even Steelix could do it. I could open with my own Intimidate as well. There's that. What is uh, Lance's abilities? Rockhead, Torrent, Bolt Absorb, Intimidate. Only Arcanine gets into him. I was hoping Aerodactyl had it. Okay. Aerodactyl sent him. I'd never die to that. 
You can do it. Definitely cannot do it. Now we're entering the realm of mons that just can't pull it off. <laughs> Sleep powder strats and sack the venom off. I don't know, it could be. Hitmonchan is inner focus. He can still get his attack decreased. Yep. Okay, I think that's it for the Arbok. Let's talk to Renator now. Obviously, there's always TMs and stuff like that. Okay, Agron is a very good opponent here. After being minus two. Yeah, there is the question if I'm going to use the white herb here or not. Uh, not bad for an aura sphere. Still, wouldn't do it. Could open with Intimidate Firo. Never Magmortar, never you, never you. Blisscore would be nice even in doubles, because he can't get his attack dropped. Never Noctowl. Well, I'm guessing if I, I teach you Leaf Storm, right? Yeah, it's up there. Still dies to Fire Punch, though. Too slow. Let's say I put Gramble at 49 for close combat. Even after two Intimidates, it can almost kill. Not bad. Frenzy Plant, that's a no. Can't rely on leaving one side just for uh, Leech Seeds. Because you never know what Lance is going to do. Uh, nope. Muddy water is gonna affect my own my own partner as well. Raptor close combat. Holding a black belt would kill. Even after two intims. Well, it doesn't really kill, but you get the picture.
Hmm. Yeah, that's about it for Tyranitar. Come to Camerupt. Talak Berry Solid Rocks. In doubles. I mean, obviously, the only thing that's going to one shot this is a water move. But not surf. And not brine either. You say it's not surf, but I think that depends. Salak Berry is going to double the speed, right? One stage. So it doesn't really matter. Okay. Um, we have Aqua Tail. Gyarados will kill this. Azu is fast enough and can Aqua Tail. Okay. It's been a while since we've had Azu in a fight. Muddy water. For now, I'm going to leave it at that. Let's score. As tailwind. It's completely walled by Crobat. Also by Firo. No point in dropping the Toxic Orb though. Yep, gets walled by Gengar as well. The fast, that's a fast Gliscor, what the heck? Hmm. I own Gliscor flying does more. Uh... And you turn there. Master Surf doesn't kill. Never Steelix. All rain can. Gyarados can. Well, even Luminion could. you Bogey kiss yes
puzzle could also do it. Thing with plus toys. Plenty of options to handle this class core. Could be mammal swine, could be freaking fly staraptor. Let's go us here mostly for the um, tailwind, I guess. Also be far fetched, but whatever at this point. Magius. Muck with an easy knockoff. Unless it reflects. Sucker Punch Fero. Uh, Gengar's not faster. Shame, because Sucker Punch would almost kill. Sucker Punch Duck Trio could. Damn, Duck Trio? That's Poison Flareon or Crunch. Okay, doing Crunch. This is a fight where I dump like the lowest IV mons. Uh... Definitely not you. Grumpig. Oh wow, Slowbro just dies to this. What the heck? Wall rain. Or Gramble. Gyarados could kind of sort of do it, but. <laughs> Pokekiss is almost decent. Learning Psychic at 50 doesn't help me. Learn Shadow Ball. Okay, so Togekiss could do it in theory. Never Azu. Never Blastoise. Yep. Never Mamo. Any of these guys that Sucker Punch? Unlikely that I bring it, but Hitmonchan would kill. Who's next? Jolteon. I think it's Volt Absorb, right? Let me guess, my Duck Trio is not faster. Yep. <laughs> Knocks off the Expert Belt. Uh, can't learn any ground moves. We had Bulldoze at 49. Not under doubles. Oh, Arbok kind of walls this.
Energy ball and HP water. Never flyers. <clears throat> Look, three of wood if you were faster. From pig. Oh wow. If try would be okay ish. Definitely none of these. Steelix could kinda do it if he survives a crit. Hmm. Definitely never you. Never you. I needed seeking. Uh. Oh, Minion Walls, this is the best. Hey, Meganium does it well. Not bad, Sunflora. What the hell? Yeah, Jolteon is pretty much a box check for grass types. Uh, never you. Oh, never any of these. Uh, kind of after Draco Meteor, but not really. Hitmon Chen can't do anything. Alright. Not a lot of options for Jolteon, but hey, I think Camrock is way worse. Almost nothing can kill it. Punch Crow. The White Herb. Punch Crow. Dark Flying is weak to what? Electricity. Ha! Ice Rocks. Also, this guy can crit a lot. It mother. That is a lot of damage. Accelerock twice if it survives superpower crit, which is unlikely. Intimidate off. Not a lot of things can really take this. Larion at 50 is faster in kills. If it comes in clean. Otherwise it dies to his own flare blitz. Unless you equip it with a silk scarf and facade hits the range. It could be Flareon. Uh we'll score no. Not having shell armor sucks. It really does. Not having any shell armor mon, that is. That the Brave Bird crit and Night Slash crit. It would have to come in clean. Both Flareon and Walrein would need to come in clean for this. At slash crit. Hmm. God, I'm dead to almost everything. Uh. 
Astoys would not be bad. Again, he would need to dodge crits. Raptor is fast, learns Brave Bird. Brave Bird at 49. Uh, a lot of options for the Honchkrow. I mean, I still need to look at Lance's Mons, right? 12v12 with a partner that can be unreliable is just too much. I still need to see what Lance can do in this fight. But this this is the fight where we are probably gonna wipe. Okay, we've done the first guy. We have an idea of the mons we should bring. Check now the other one. Machamp. The Guts Flame Orb Machamp. With helping hands? Oh, God. Uh, I'm guessing any flyer will just kill this. This thing is superpower, so none of that. Comes with Ice Punch. Robot doesn't get Brave Bird until 62. Sharp Beak will kill this. RP Croat. Okay. Uh, if I teach Fear of Fly. It would also be up there. It's just going to be any flyer on this. Faster. Bump him up to 49, maybe 50. I don't mind if I have to get to the cap in this fight. This fight is horrifying. Okay, there's things to worry about like um, Tailwind being up, but we'll deal with that later. For now I'm just looking at 1v1s. Oh wow, even Noctowl is faster in kills, and I would not mind even sacking Noctowl. I do have access to an Explosion Mon. I've been holding it for Ladios and Ladias, but... Maybe I can't have that. Definitely not wall rain, even though it's faster. It's looking up like we need to bring Gyarados. Uh, not you. Not you. You are faster and you can two shot it. Same thing with Lunatone. Lunatone, Meganium. Normal flying, it won't save you. Azu can't do this. Too slow. As long as it's not an ice punch, yes, the raptor could do it. And so could Farfetch'd. And not as well. Let's talk about the Gengar. Pretty sure any sucker punch will just kill this.
Open muck if it's holding a raspberry. Yep, Sucker Punch Furo would be nice too. My own Gengar is too slow. Hmm? I'm guessing Sucker Punch Dug Trio as well. Nope. It's up there, but nope. Zero Attack Dug Trio for the win. Okay, that could also be it. Grumpig. Where's Grumpig? Okay, there we go. Noctowl's not faster. Oh, wow. Steelix can wall this. I mean, it needs a rust berry and gets burnt in the end, but still. Lonotone, <laughs> nope. Never Meganium. Didn't you learn Shadow Ball? Can't do enough. Oh yeah, this isn't doubles. Uh... Knock off, not enough. Sucker Punch, hit one lead. Nope. In our focus. And that's about it. Not a lot of options for Gengar, but you know, you know we have some. Norlax with a Chopple Berry, Adamant Nature. God. Good luck to kill this one. Well, after Choppleberry, Drain Punch does a pretty good job. Drain Punch Agron is pretty good for this. Completely walls the Snorlax. Have a Choppel. Nope, never, never a Ghost type here. One HP reversal. Damn, cannot kill through the berry. <laughs> Worth a shot. Either body slam or knockoff. Felix is also a pretty decent wall. Triple Iron Tail after a rest. We gotta bring our steel types. Uh, Ramble could do it after breaking the chopple. I 
Palaco Tail Gyarados as well. None of these can do anything, yikes. Oops, not choice band. That's the same thing. Brain punch first to break it. Yes, the raptor can do it. Hitmonchan can't do anything, as usual. And it's the same thing with you. Uh, Farfetched. And two shot it after breaking Choppleberry. Okay, who's left? Espeon and Houndoom. Signal Beam and HP Ground. Ah, the signal beam. But Furo could sucker punch it. Damn, is it me or can Furo sucker punch quite a few? Oh, maybe two. Uh, Shadow Ball kills, but it's too slow. Signal beam coverage. Damn. Octal is not bad. Probably gets Hespion stuck doing helping hands. Never you. Never you. This is in doubles, so Blizzard doesn't do that much. Wow, Espeon could... Uh, Luminion could be faster. It's at the cap. Surprising. Rock Ghost and Signal Beams. Take out into dual aqua jet. Ah, this thing is leftovers. Oh no. It's cutting it very close. And never any of these, because they're all weak to this. Not a lot of options for Espeon, unfortunately. Finally the Houndoom. This thing should die to everything. Oh, he does have some nice coverage. Robot Aura Sphering. Oh. 
could get McMortar. Yeah, don't even need to calc to know. McMortar could do it. Uh, if I swap after Intimidate, yes, it can do it. Even through the Intim, with something to boost the attack. The Duck Trio here. In doubles, yep, not, not Duck Trio. Double Facade, Flareon. I'm slower with Gliscor. It could kind of work, but it's very risky. Trump pick learn anything? Power gem at 50. Or lose the psychic. Give you power gem. And at 50, you're faster too. Trump pick at 50. option obviously right now i'm just assuming that this fight is a 6v12 right i still have to look at lance and how he can help me uh, army can't kill faster and it kills Fast Intimidate, it's guaranteed too. Gramble. Not sure how I feel about seeing Gramble in so many options. Mm, I guess Intimidate has value. Oh, this thing is Thunder Fang. And I'm not faster. Gyarados at 50. Pivoting out of Intimidate, yes. Would have to be Gyarados at 50. Hmm, Dark Pulse has a pretty good chance to flinch me. Take out Aqua Jet. Out of Intimidate, I would kill this. Blastoise also does this very well. But I would have to lose Muddy Water for it. And probably change it with Brine or something. Uh, even through the Intimidate, Staraptor will outspeed kill this. Just the Goat. Hitmonchan's too slow. So he can tank a hit. But I guess Hitmonchan could be an option there. Tentacruel, he's fast enough and can dual gunk shots. Show me the gunk shot move. Chance to poison 100 accuracy. Yeah, we're definitely not bringing Tentacruel because I think this is the first time I even typed that name. And also far-fetched. And that's all the viable mons in a 1v1 against all 12 of these. Hey Lance, let's talk about you. Aerodactyl is going to open up at a minus 2.
Aerodactyl needs to pivot out because he can't do anything. Really. Aerodactyl probably... I don't know if he even U-turns or if he just dies. To be fair. Uh, hard to say. Talk about the other five. Uh, where's Blastoise? Not mine. Lance's Blastoise, which has a way better moveset than mine. Ice Beam's the Arbok. Okay, Ice Beam's the Punch Crow, Dice to Crit. Can Hydro Pump the... Oh, okay. With Hydro Pump. The camera, if he doesn't miss. Can Ice Beam the Gliscor. Oh wait, it's not Aerodactyl. Whoops. <laughs> That's about it. Mm. What about on the other side? I mean, he can chip, but that's not what I'm looking for. And Hydro Pump the Houndoom. That's about it, actually. He's bulky. He can do something. He can stay in, he can chip. Not bad, but the ones he guaranteedly kills are these three. How about the Amphi? It's 72, so this thing is outspeeding nothing. Could survive a Dragon Rush, Dragon Pulse the Arbok. A good counter for Haunch Crow, I guess. Magius, no. Counters the Jolteon as well. Kill the Tyranitar. Not very good against the Gengar. Good counter for the Houndoom. That's it. He also has an Arcanine. What else does he have? Torterra. Dragonite. And under this, I'm just going to assume that Aerodactyl is dead. Simply because if he doesn't U-turn for some reason and just stays in the field at minus two, he's just going to die at some point. Arcanine, what can you do? Arcanine definitely needs to come in late. Because Arcanine cannot do very well against Ariana at all.
Oh, brother, this guy stinks. Arcanine is worthless. <laughs> okay. Or Terra. Can do some damage to Arbok, I guess. And since he won't be intimidated, it actually kills. That's great. He won't head smash the Honchcrow ever. Uh, I guess Miss Magus is not that good. And it can kill the Jolteon very well. Alright. How about the other one? Who is this actually? This is not a grunt. It's Archer. Orterra against the Tyranitar. It is faster. It can damage the Tyranitar. Oops. Not bad. It's nothing as well. You survive a flamethrower crit, you can kill something. Kill them a champ. You can kind of sort of handle the Gengar. This thing is Quick Claw, who knows? Nothing against the Espeon. That's about it. Finally, this guy has a Dragonite. Cannot outspeed. But it doesn't matter. A good answer to the Arbok, even though it takes a lot of damage and I would rather prevent that. Pretty good on the Haunch Crow as well. And it's extremely good on the Gliscor. Cannot handle the Tyranitar. What's the accuracy of Hurricane? 80. You can just miss the hurricane and die. Uh, can't do shit against that. Dodging a crit, it could double hurricane into Gengar, but it's very unlikely. You can handle Houndoom. And that's it. Now to cook the actual fight. And this is gonna suck dick because I don't know what he does. Theoretically. Well, not theoretically. Aerodactyl is either doing... Because this is a complete 50-50, right? Either he looks at Arbok and Drill Runs... His U-turn gets resisted, or he looks at Tyranitar, and then he U-turns. And we want that U-turn. I think I need to open up with a way to kill Tyranitar to avoid... To avoid the rock slides, uh, to avoid stealth rocks. 
Hmm. So who would be the opener seeing Trantar? Agron, Gliscor, Gramble, Staraptor. Staraptor at minus two. Minus two, it can still do some damage. It does not prevent the rocks. What's the order like? So it's going to be Arbok on my right. So Tyranitar is looking at Aerodactyl. Aerodactyl happens to U-turn. What would he even bring? Uh, see, it has Hydro Pump. It has Focus Blast. As drill run, and that's it. It's gonna look at double super effective Torterra. Uh, neutral, neutral, and super effective neutral. So he would U turn to Torterra. Some more notes here. Arrow, would you turn to Portera? Getting that Torterra up front is good for the Tyranitar. And can handle the Arbok as well. Actually, it would see a kill on, on Arbok immediately. And I think I have to play under the assumption that it does U-turn. My focus is the Tyranitar and nothing else. Hundred and sixteen speed, seventy-eight. If I open up with, let's say, Firo. And get the Intim off. Which means that this Arbok is never killing. Holding a Cherry Berry for Paralysis on Glare. And I U-turn out of rock slides damage for example that's one opener zero three damaged get the rocks aerodactyl is not gonna like that Minus one. Do about half. Better pray you get that that thing in, brother. Get that U turn. Pro pre damaged. Wait. Ranatar. And we U turn to potentially Gliscor. U turn to Gliscor on the rock slide. No intimidate on. Yeah. And I'm not worried about Arbok because it's faster than Furo. Turn to Gliscor. 
I could also just open up with Gliss Core because it's Hyper Cutter. Check the counts. Arvox shows up. Two twice. Okay. I need to know which mon are which mons are the most valuable. Golem. Golem only shows up once. Mm -hmm. Agron. Two, three, three times. Okay. Plus score. Two, three, four times. The score is just him. Bulldog. Pretty sure it's only once or twice. Yep, a whopping one time. Mm -hmm. From pig. Two, three. Four, five, five grumpigs, Felix, two, three, four, four times. These are potential crack up. Uh, lost. Two. Three. Four. Five. Mm. Five. Azu. Two, three, Probat. You sure he only shows up like once, twice? Ingar. Ingar's only once. All rain. Useful for two. Carlos, I've seen. Dominion and Togekiss. One, two. Two, two. Two each. Okay. Bring out the value. As we've checked, Blast Toys and Mammoth Swine. Okay.
two, one. Okay. If I bring anything that frags once, it's probably to die. It's the raptor and muck. Raptor and Muck. 2, 1, 3, 1, 3, 2, 4, 2, 4, 3, 5, 3. Star Raptor and Muck gets 3. Have I checked Furo? Not. Hero Duck Trio. Two one. Three one. Four one. Hero gets four. And Duck Trio is just that shit. I like that I'm doing so much work just to wipe. Uh, Flareon, yep. Grumpy I've checked, Togekiss I've checked, Hitmonchan. Okay, Flareon and Hitmonchan. 2 1. Three, two. Hitmonchan is on the two. Have I checked Arwok? Rumpig as well. Have I checked Steelix? I haven't checked Meganium or Sunflora. Two, one. Just that. Flora gets one, so we are not bringing some flora into this, probably. Do I have wall rain? Yes. And now I think I've seen everything except Gramble. Okay. Gramble and Noctowl, I guess. Rumble and Noctowl, 2-1, two, 2-2, two, two. Three, two. Yeah, I'm missing Lunatone and Farfetch. Two one two two and forfeited. Even after I wipe, I need to keep this information. Then Magmortar, only the one. Same thing with Tentacruel. Magmortar and Tentacruel only get the one. And that's my entire box's value looking at this fight. So, you know, if you go without thinking, you just pick the first six and go. <laughs> Right now I have considered Furo and Gliscor, so that's already part of the plan. Makes sense given the potential frag counts. Ugh, I have no idea. This is just a pain to plan.
You get a second box. Hero. Gliscor. Where Gliscor? There we go. He opens up with an Aerodactyl. Down here. And. I have to just assume something happens, and if it doesn't happen, we have to adjust. This is an assumption cook. So, arrow, U turns, Torterra. Here is pre damage for Tyranitar. I U turn to Gliscor. And I go. Turns to Gliscor, taking what? The score needs hero needs a cherry berry. Um, let's see. Arbok, glare, hero, cherry berry. You turn to Gliscor, and what am I baiting? It's rock slide. That's turn one. All it takes is arrow to not um, to not U turn, and the entire plan goes bananas. <clears throat> then again, if he drill runs Arbok, I'm killing both. Turn to what would happen if there's Torterra in the field. I think it's just probably glaring. I don't know. Step to drill run. And on this side, if I kill Tyranitar, Tyranitar is on the left. So it's going to look at Torterra. Okay, turn two. If it glares, it sucks. Uh, turn two. Let's assume it goes for me. Plus score, which is why I have a cherry berry. Then speed wise, Tarantar 78, Torterra is 80, and my Gliscor 88. I'm just gonna Earthquake. On Torterra, under doubles. Gonna take a pittance. Yeah, I don't care. Tarantar. This guy. Earthquake will do at least half after Hero doing a pity U turn. They're all still alive in turn two. It's gonna be Stealth Rock's turn two then. So I will have broken the sash, and after minus two. Doing at least 30. 138. Liscor cannot do it. He can learn Brick Break though. Over Quick Attack. Uh, 
Black Belter that would be guaranteed. But I can't because of the Cherry Berry. Yeah, the other option would be... Agron, Gramble, Staraptor. Staraptor. I would be pivoting Staraptor here. And this guy's at minus one. Onto a Rock Slide. We'll do on a max roll 42. Drops me to 106. And I can just drain punch to heal that damage back. I'm faster than Arbok as well. Hmm. So it's a U-turn to Staraptor. Arbok's not gonna glare anything. Well, it might. Glare Staraptor. Uh, Staraptor kills Tyranitar. Be a deep punch. Heal back the damage. It might just go Dragon Rush, Cross Poison for some... Might just go Dragon Rush, really. But you are going to be minus one. Could just Glare as well. Um, Glares, and then... Torterra, Drill Run, Arbok, because it's guaranteed. That's the first two turns. So it's not Staraptor. It is... Where is my Staraptor? This is of course assuming that it goes for U-turn. If it doesn't, we're just... Screw it's a complete 50 50 here. Um, Torterra drill runs Arbok. Okay, when Torterra drill runs the Arbok, it's going to be looking at Staraptor, which means it's Jolteon next. Make doubly sure. Staraptor. Yep. It's Jolteon for the guaranteed Thunderbolt. Can't do anything to the Torterra. And if Torterra proc that Quick Claw, that would be an insane drill run. <laughs> Unfortunately, we're not going to get that lucky. I mean, I'm making a plan that's complete fiction. Uh, I'm faster, so I have to T-Bolt. Turn 3. I have to jot things down. Turn 2, we're facing... Arbok Tyranitar. If I kill the Tyranitar... Oh wait, it's the other way around, right? Who am I looking at? Ariana's gonna be on the right, so I'm staring at Ariana. Okay, very important. Yeah, so it is Jolteon. And then, as Torterra kills the Arbok, wait. Tyranitar was staring at Torterra. That's how it is. Tyranitar looking at Lance's Torterra. Gonna be Houndoom. And with my Staraptor on the field, oh, if only I were faster than that Jolteon. Three Chultion Houndum. 
And Houndoom could potentially do Flamethrower to me, unless it sees a kill on Lance's Torterra. She doesn't. And he doesn't see it on Staraptor either, which means it's a random. So a potential flamethrower on my side and a guaranteed lightning move on my side. Too slow. Given the frag value, what can swap in on this? Bliss would still be one of the better ones. Not a lot of options to swap on that. And again, it would be nice if Quick Claw proc and just kill the Houndoom. No, this is making my head hurt. <laughs> I'm gonna come back to this tomorrow. Today we just did patrol, guys. Oh, we did patrol Atlas. Uh, I'm gonna have to do another stream of this tomorrow. And uh, well, we'll see how it goes. Anyways, yeah, I'm gonna keep it shorter today. Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed the stream. Uh, I'm gonna be live tomorrow at 5 p yeah, 5 p.m. Central European time, and we're gonna keep cooking this. We got Patrel done today, we got an understanding of which Pokemon are best for which one. We have a, an, an idea of the value of each Pokemon in this fight. Tomorrow we cook. I'll see you guys then. Bye!